Hello and welcome to another Happily Letter After tutorial. Today I've got another Procreate tip for you. It's actually kind of two tips in one in case you did not know this other one. So um, for today you don't need any specific size canvas. I have this as a 3000 pixel by 3000 pixel canvas which is a perfect square and um, it's perfect for uh, sharing on social media. And so I don't know if you've ever tried to do videos, like your time relapses of your artwork. Um, if you have not, and you do not know how to do a time relapse, so that's how we got this second tip. So the second tip here, if you go to video, this little icon here on the wrench, and you have this time, make sure time lapse recording is on right here. And to watch your replay, you go to time lapse replay, which we don't have anything yet because we haven't started um, doing anything. But the main thing is, is let's say you're trying to draw something specific and it's hard or you're new to draw. Maybe you're new to drawing and you're just frustrated trying to get these proportions right, trying to get things right. Um, I always use a reference photo for everything I draw. I rarely draw, uh, unless it's like simple um, flowers or lettering, it's very rare that I use a reference for that, but otherwise I'm using a reference for um, anything that's realistic drawings that I have. Um, and so I go in here, you can go into canvas right here and you can check this reference button and it automatically defaults to your canvas. So whatever's on your canvas, that's your reference. I'm not really sure what kind of help that is to someone, maybe because you can zoom in and out of certain places. I don't know. Um, but you can insert an image from your camera roll and then you can just kind of have it off to the side. Um, I won't import anything right now, but you can have it off to the side while you're drawing and you can draw from that looking at it, which is great practice, especially if you're a little more seasoned in drawing. It really hones your skills to try to observe it and draw it. But if you're new or even me, sometimes, you know, I've been drawing for years. I've been drawing since I was a little girl, but even I sometimes need to trace. Um, like I'm drawing, I'm trying to draw that, that other way and I'm getting frustrated because it's not working for me. So I need to trace an image. Unfortunately, if you just go into the wrench and you do add and you insert a photo, it's going to automatically go onto your layer and it's going to be shown in your time-lapse replay so everybody sees that you've traced. But if you want to make it seem like, oh, look at how good they are, plus it looks better on the video anyway, let me show you a cool trick. First, let's go to our, whoops, let's go to our web browser and let's um, go to pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. This is my favorite um, website for free images. There's a lot of them out there, but this one is my favorite. I feel like they have a really good variety. Um, and they're just really high quality, really nice looking photos. Um, so let's just type in flowers. Um, cause you know, we're springtime, so flowers are nice and, you know, scroll around until you find a photo that you like. As you can see, there are tons of them to choose from in here. Um, just to keep this simple. Let me, I love roses, so I'm going to go back up to the top here and I'm just going to grab this rose and you can download it or you can hold and click and you can save to your photos. So it saves to your camera roll. Now let's go back to Procreate and here's how we do it. So it's a hidden layer. So here's how we make a hidden layer. Go back to your wrench and we're going to go to add, but don't click insert a photo swipe towards the left and you can insert a private photo. You can actually do this for files too. And I believe you can do it. Yeah, you can do it for the photo. Ooh, you can do it for photos too. You can take a private photo as well if you want to. Um, so we can insert, oops, I don't want the file to insert a private photo. So then you swipe towards the left and you click on it. And now we can choose the rows and now we can drag it to the size we want. Let's make it pretty big to fill the canvas pretty well. And then we can just hit that arrow to um, get out of that. And so now we have, it's a private layer here. It says private on the bottom. And so let's drag that underneath our layer one. 
we'll hit the end and let's turn the opacity down. I have it to 26. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I have it to 26 so I can see what I'm doing on the top layer when I draw. So go to layer one and um, I have pure black selected. If you go to your um, color palette, you can just double tap on the bottom, get you pure black. And just with the pen that came with Procreate and the inking, I'm in the technical pen, which is a nice one for sketching. So I like to zoom in when I work on stuff like this. So we can just start now tracing. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because this is a practice piece. I mean, obviously, if you're doing this because you have a piece that you are trying to do and you just needed this tip, obviously get more detailed than I am going to do and get neater because I'm kind of going to do a little sloppy, not the best quality here because I'm just showing you what this will look like when we go to do our time lapse because I want you to see when you do the time lapse that it will not show and I can also show you what it'll be like if we were to add the photo regularly because then you can see that so it's just a really cool hidden feature that Procreate has that not a lot of people know about actually so I just had to share it with you guys and if you like this tip if you need more tips if there's something that you would like to learn how to do and you want me to show it please comment and let me know and i will see what i can do to make that happen because i don't know everything there is to know about procreate but i am learning right alongside you guys and that's why every time i learn something new i always have to share it with you so that you guys can get that insight too. Now this rose was kind of a little complicated because it's very um, it's very light colored so it's kind of a hard one to see all the petals. If we would have done a, a red rose probably would have showed up a little bit better. But again we're just kind of doing this as like a practice piece practice makes perfect and this kind of gives you the idea of like this ha is how it f like the flow of a rose is so it's kind of nice because it's like oh okay so the rose petals are like this you know they start off real small in the middle and they get bigger and some people you know they see the rose but they don't actually know what it's like until you actually go and draw it and so this is kind of a nice exercise even if you want to um, do this just for an actual like finished line drawing piece it's really good to get to know the subject you're drawing you can do practice pieces if you want to do people get practice of how it is to shape the face what the nose is like, what eyes are like. It's it's really nice. And also, if you want to do one of those one-line drawings, it's great for that too because um, there's those one-line um, drawings where you don't pick up your pencil and you just um, hold it in place and you just keep tracing. You definitely want a photo underneath it and you don't always want that reference to show so this is a great um, tip, uh, like a great tool as well to use for that so that you can um, have your reference photo without having to have it show. Okay, so I'm not doing all the leaves, obviously, and we can turn off that. So this is our rose, obviously. It's not the best looking tracing job, but it, it'll do. So now if we go to our wrench icon and we go to the video, we can go to our time-lapse replay and it will play it out. Look at that. See, and we do not have that um, reference photo in the background. Now, here is what it would look like if we had it in the background. So let's add another layer. Scooch it under layer one here. And let's do insert a photo. Inserting this photo in here. Okay, so that's about it right there. Okay, and we're turning it off. Now, it's not, it doesn't say hidden, remember. 
So it's gonna show up. So now when we go to our video and we do our time-lapse replay, it's gonna show the drawing first because we did the drawing, but do you see that it blinked on? It, it blinked on. Um, it's, it goes really fast, sorry guys. But it blinked on at the end there. You can kind of see how it spurted like that. It's because we had put it on the page and it'll show, it'll show like if we were to like leave that unhidden right there, because if we left that unhidden, you could, um, you won't see it in the video, but see, I'll show you again on the time-lapse replay. It's going to show up now at the end. It'll blink off and then it'll blink back on and it'll stay on. See, now if we turn that off, but turn this one on, our private one, if we go to our time-lapse replay, so in case you forget to turn off, don't worry, it's not going to show up. See? We had left it on, but it's not showing because that's a private layer. So that's how you can do hidden layers, private layers. Um, so you can trace, practice, um, do a time-lapse replay without your image showing. Because even that quick little blink, people can tell you got a um, you got something in there. But while you're while you're drawing, that will be in there if you're tracing it from an actual photo instead of that private layer photo. So you want the private layer if you don't want that to show up on your time lapse replay. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Again, let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know um, if there's anything else that you'd like to learn, and I'll see what I can do to get that happening for you. Till next time, have fun creating, guys.